Okay, when we do a hearing assessment, there are three parts to the ear. There's the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. A thorough hearing assessment includes an evaluation of each one of those, um, each one of those parts. The first thing that I'm going to do is what we refer to as otoscopy. And I'm going to look in the ear with a light. And this is just a physical exam so that I can evaluate the, the condition of the outer ear. Okay, so the next part of the assessment is to evaluate the hearing sensitivity. So this, this stage involves listening to some sounds at different pitches. So if you think of it like notes on the piano, um, the, the, the person uh, receiving the test will hear a variety of different notes. And what they are required to do is, is let me know what the softest sounds are that they are able to hear. And the way this is done is... Uh, they can respond in a variety of ways. Some people will ask you to raise your hand. In this case, we have a button, and uh, the client can push the button each time they hear the sound. Let's make sure these are right around. Okay, so Brandon, I'm just going to put these earplugs in your ears. And then I guess I'll go over and place them tones for you. Okay. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to play some tones in your right ear first. Each time you hear one, just press the button, even if it's very, very quiet. Okay, so I'm starting at a level where I know uh, he can hear. And then I go down in steps of 10 decibels each time. And each time he responds, I go down by 10 decibels again until he doesn't respond. When he doesn't respond, you go up in steps of 5. And what this is called, it's something that we refer to as a bracketing technique. So we're going... Um, we're trying to determine the softest level that he can hear at least two out of four times. So the first frequency that we've evaluated is 1,000 hertz, which is kind of in the middle of what we've referred to as the speech frequencies. So next we'll go up to 2,000. And again, I'll start at a level where I know he can hear. And then I'll drop down in steps of 10 decibels each time he responds. And you try to change the delay between the presentations of the tones so they don't get locked into a, a pattern or into a rhythm. Okay, so he responded there. So we'll drop it down by 10. He doesn't respond. We'll go up in steps of 5 until he responds again. So then we go up to the next frequency. And we do this for frequencies from 250 hertz up to 8,000. And as you can see, he's got excellent hearing. What we're measuring is, uh, we're measuring the, uh, the level of the frequency in, in a unit that we refer to as decibels hearing, lo hearing level. And what that means, it's reference to um, audiologically normal young adults. So 0 dBHL, when we get down to 0 here, right there. Uh, that doesn't mean that there's no sound. That represents the average hearing sensitivity of otologically normal young adults that were sampled to, to generate this measure. And for adults, we say that um, a result of that is 25 dBHL or better, so 25 dBHL or less, uh, is what we refer to as a normal range of, of hearing for adults. And for children, the reason we're a little more stringent uh, is that they're learning language. So a lot of those very soft consonants and, uh, and sounds that occur in speech, it's really critical that they hear those clearly in order to learn speech properly.